Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. So what we're seeing now, I've just seen that one of my uh, GA flights, so I've, I've, I've built these up and I've actually connected this and put the fence together over here. Um, but I've seen that one of my GA flights is, uh, is not airworthy and cannot go. I don't have ramp agents, so I don't know how that happened, but it kind of brought me to I need I need I need um, uh, hangers which is something we talked about in the previous episode but couldn't find any so now we do have hangers and they are in fact um, located here um, so we just need a bit of room I think and that is something that we may need to think about a little bit so certainly we can pull that back um, and I kind of tempted to to pull back this entire operation through here right and we got some money back for that and then we'll we'll place our will we will we run our access road through there yeah I think that's what we're gonna do we'll run our access road through there that's a little bit of room buffer here and what we can also then do is find ourselves a little bit of a, a hanger. So this thing could actually go into the hanger. Now, I don't want it to get too close to that, but probably something like, like that spot. Uh, ooh, no, no, no. That spot right over there is not going to work because we need to be able to, um, to run the road. Um, to those stands up on the other side, which means we may push this thing back a little bit as well. Um, so we've got the five, that's the five, that's one gap, that's a two gap right there. And I think that is about uh, appropriate. So I would need five there. So there we go. So if we do that, that's, uh, that's, that's it. Now what we'll do... <clears throat> If I do my full five here, ooh, I definitely need. There we go. If I do my full five through there, just to maintain that, I'm gonna I'm gonna up the five on this side as well, so that we maintain um, our five through there. It's gonna cost us a little bit more money. Uh, but we'll do that. So there we go. So that's our fives. Um, I might, I might, I might do it all the way here as well, just so that we have an indication of where that runway is going to go. Um, and if that means we're going to put a road in, sorry, I'm just going to quickly fix this. So even with, uh, what I would deem pretty decent planning, <laughs> uh, not for everything, of course, there's still some stuff that you, um, that you do miss you do miss out on. So I'm going to run it through there with the idea that it can run in there and that's going to be all good. Uh, I just need to tie these in. I think that is going to be appropriate as is. And now there'll be some room here for us to expand into some other facilities right there. But now we have, a, uh, now we have this. So now what we can do, um, the hangar, now we can certainly accept um, some form of, um, of the emergency style of things. So now with that ramp Activate it. This guy is... Oh, look at it. Smoking away over there. Now that guy can actually um, go into there. And we could expand by adding another one. We probably will need at least another um, hangar. And then we'll see what we what we go on from there. Now, back to uh, this. So we're running security through here. Security is going to come in here. Going to exit that way. Probably need a bathroom. So let's... Uh, I'll continue to run the game. So we keep making money. But we will need a bathroom, and I don't want to. I don't want to skimp too much on the bathrooms. I've kind of been doing that a lot in the past, and so this time around, these bathrooms needs to be a little bit better. So what I what I what I need to do is uh, find myself the bathroom piece. I think they need to be at least five, right? To be proper, they need to be at least five wide. And we'll do another one over there. I think these are going to be proper bathrooms then. So now from there we need some walls to um, to just kind of close these things off a little bit. Again with the a lag over there. So let's just tie these things together. Tie again with the lag. Come on. Okay. Now we'll put some doors in there, which will uh, which will we'll just center 
of the run of the mill center doors there, which will keep that nice and clear. And now we can put in our bathroom facilities. So um, this will be, uh, let's get the ladies um, on this side. Why do I have multiple secure zones through here? Do I need to, I need to probably redo that. Um, and the gents on this side, probably up to about there. Then we'll switch over to urinals like so. And then we'll go and grab these things on this side and we can uh, we can try, try and um, make it look a and feel a little bit nicer. Um, I think that would be appropriate. Now over here we can also get um, things like a bin. We'll do two bins there. Um, there's some other bathroom stuff we can get. We can certainly get some hand dryers. Yeah, it's probably about right. Get ourselves some hand dryers. Nice and costly. Anything else? No, I don't think we need anything else. Um, we will. I was thinking we'll do some plants. So let's uh, let's grab a couple of these and just run them down. Oh, uh, I don't think we can run them down the middle. They they close things off too much. Uh, we could probably do a little a little something. Um, kind of right over there, but on this side, I don't think we can really do that. It'll 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 lock it off. It'll lock it off, unfortunately. So this will be the male, uh, male restroom for everybody and we'll open that up. This will be the female uh, restroom for everybody and we'll open that up. So now we've got a bathroom. We need some flooring to come in and over here. Now, the next thing the tutorial and everything tells us to do is let's place some boarding desks. Okay, so we've got our stands. They are commercially set up. Now we need some boarding desks. So let's grab our boarding desks over here. Okay, they're still pretty tiny and what we need to do can we can we flip it around Ooh, if does something else we can rotate but i don't think we can flip it around would have been cool if we could have flipped it around um and kind of what i'm thinking is um i think i'll do it like this right and we'll do We'll start off with five of them over here, right? Um, with that one linking over there. Excellent. So people will actually be walking, but we need to connect these secure zones together, though. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. This one. Come on, link them up. Third one. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can keep, uh, keep get all of them in here. Uh, fourth one and fifth one at least the first five should be completely workable okay so that's all good we will be doing something in the long along the lines of some seating and, and vending machines and things like that i'll be popping out over here and exiting that way um, we'll probably get a little bit of seating going on over here for people waiting for their um, with their arrivals so let's quickly grab that while things are running we're still making money all of that's still working let's grab some um some small seating Um, I think a little something like this. It work. What's going on? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Um, let's just pause it there while we quickly have a look. J Flight, um, something, something. Weight class is experiencing a bird strike emergency in truck. Um, refusing or failing to handle this correctly um, will incur harsh fines, blah, blah, blah. Accept it. Now, it's already. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So what does, so that means we have to um, allocate it a bird strike, okay? And requires fire truck assistance. We can't do that, but we do need to allocate it a flight. So let's have a look at our, um, no, that's our flight monitor. Flight plan, we don't have any stands ready to go. So we can't even, I mean, we, we, can't, we can't actually do anything for it. It's just GA, right? Is it, is it trying to, will it resolve? I think it'll auto resolve, right? I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this. We don't, we don't have a fire truck, certainly not. Certainly don't have a fire truck. There's nothing in here though. Ooh, what is this? Switch between general aviation and commercial flights. Ooh, interesting. 
Now, the bird strike is probably going to give us... So, the aircraft not airworthy. We managed to deal with that completely good. Good and well. So, handling grade A, and we haven't been fine 100%. If we go and we check... Uh, sorry, didn't want to do that. If we go and check the other one, um, we've been fined an enormous amount of money for not handling that appropriately. So, go back to R&D. Right? We need to um, get emergency response units ready to go. So let's start that project, please. And let's uh, let's get that at the research because that seems to be a critical one for us at the moment. And we need to deal with that um, in a little bit more detail. Okay, so now that's this is set up. Um, I can probably get some staff allocated over here. So let's hire a few staff members. We will need um, we will need the ramp agents, but let's go with security officers first. What? Oh, yeah, available security officers for hire. Now, let's get the good guys because they have told us that we need properly trained security officers. So there's two security officers right over there. So they should deal with us over there. Now, what I also would like to do is get a few other team members. Um, uh, I think we'll have to, unfortunately, refuse that again. Uh, what we want is passenger service. And we'll just grab um, this one here that seems to have a pretty nice rating. So hopefully that means some passenger service people are there. We do need two more though. I do wonder for what, uh, yeah, I do wonder for what. I do wonder for what. We've got this, uh, I, need to, I need to sort some, some stuff out over there. We do need a little bit more in terms of some seating arrangements. And I'm thinking, now, I'm thinking the large could work here. If we do maybe a little something like that and a little something like this. So there's at least some seating for people to wait for their flights. Um, and we could even do the smaller ones up on the wall side of things. So something like that should work. Right. I think that that'll be okay. Uh, we could add a little bit more um, information um, right over here. Yeah, I do like that. That's pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't mind a little bit of decorations here. Maybe like a plant and, a, and something. We'll put a plant over there and maybe something over here. And then I also would like um, maybe a garbage bin right there. That's okay, we'll get another one over here and another one right over there. So that should deal with um, some garbage stuff. And um, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, what's what are they saying we need to do next? Open the runway for commercial use. Um, and again, of course, um, I think what I need to do is actually upgrade this. Can I upgrade that to asphalt? So let's upgrade that to asphalt. Um, uh, and we convert the runway ramps as well. Yeah, let's do that. Excellent. That's awesome. And I would like to allow um, commercial flights on here also. And then we'll see about fixing up the rest of the stuff. So hopefully everybody is making a move. Nice. So things are starting to look okay. Hopefully this means it'll be a little bit more durable and won't um, run out of uh, or run into issues all that often. Now, what is this guy still saying? Oh, it's not connected because there's no secure zone. So let's just quickly fix that. I think it's as simple as um, running the secure zone through there and through there. Um, we do have to have a look at some of our secure zone items. So now that is all nice and connected. All of that. Do I comfortably deal with with the secure zone, right? Shouldn't be any issues, right? Yeah, that seems to be working. Oh, there's a little section that I haven't actually built. Oh, nice. I, I can still do that in the future. Now, uh, what's our R&D doing? Have we finished off that R&D or is that still going? It's only 20% done. So we will continue to get fines for that and hopefully we'll sort that out um, in, in due course. So we've got one there. We probably need a couple more before we start getting passengers. 
So let's grab ourselves a few more um, passenger service guys. One, two more of them. I think should do the trick. We will need... Let's have a quick look at uh, what are we offering operations wise. Ramp agent assert, uh, service is not actually there. Uh, we haven't clicked on anything just yet. So I think that, uh, okay, let's go to next and see what's going on here. Hire four passenger service agents. They take care of checking uh, check in and boarding. Hire four security officers. They are responsible for security stations. Hire four ramp agents. They inspect aircrafts. Wait for the staff to arrive via public transport and enable ramp, uh, ramp service. So that's okay. So we need at least a few more staff members to be hired here. Um, on the hiring side of things, who's good? You're good, so that gives us four of them. That'll be fine. Uh, we probably need a janitor. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one janitor. And we need um, at least two more security. So that's one more security. And this one is the best, so I'll do that. When we go over here, can we go ahead and train um, these security officers a little bit? I want to make sure that we um, get them nice and well trained so that we don't run into security issues. There we go. Um, we also need ramp agents. So let's go and grab some ramp agents. Pretty good here, pretty good there, pretty good there. I think they've made um, made it so that you, you, you need to look at your staff training, training pieces. Now they're going to arrive and what we'll then do is we will allow for the ramp agent turnaround service to, to go. Now we can basically start accepting an airline master contract and getting our very first flights in place. But what I thought we'd do, we've got a bit of money. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upgrade our our facilities here just a little bit. Um, so I saved the money. No, 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 not that, not that. I would like um, this. So I saved the money initially. Oh, it's actually too small through here. Either way. Save the money initially, but I'll, I'll I'll do it now. Let's run it through there. Um, we'll try and make sure we we do the job properly here. I don't want the commercial guys to be running on 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 the grass. Wow, that is costing us enormous amounts. Let's do that. Get that all tied together there, and we'll just do that as well. There we go. That cost us a fair bit of money. Um, so that's okay. Coloring and copy color. Okay, interesting. Coloring. Okay, so that's that's all good. I think I'm going to leave that as is for the time being. We could move these around a little bit, but it's going to cost more money than uh, than we know what's good for us. So we'll just leave it as is for the time being. That's only planned at this point. Um, there's a little bit of a close call over here, but these flights will be pretty small. Now, next thing for us to do is accept that master contract. So let's pop out over here and get to the economy tab and grab ourselves a master offered contracts for flights a master airline contract no 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 airlines now i'm just gonna go coast to coast i'm just gonna go with one of these and i think the idea with these stars i can never remember what the star rating does. Um, negotiation points, you can use to negotiate things, which is fine. Aviation fuel supplier, ooh. So do we need, do we need other bits and pieces? Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by with getting a, just a one of these one star. The coast to coast one is what I'm gonna grab. I've never, I don't think I've ever used that. Now, from there, what we'll do is we'll have to assign some. Open the flight planner and click on the airline name on the left side to see the flights they currently offer. You schedule flights, drag into the flight planner, open flight planner. Now sit back and wait for um, scheduled flights and passengers to arrive and depart. You can view more details from the flights, uh, from the flights monitor, yes, yes, and turn around five commercial flights. So that's basically what we're gonna do right now. Um, so I'll close uh, this guy off here for the time being. We'll pop in here and see what is being offered. At the moment, they're not offering us any flights. Really? That's uh, that's not good. I wanted to at least get some flights. That is not good, not good at all. I should rename some of these stands as well. Um, okay. Do I need multiple? What is going on over here? 
a person can't what can't leave the secure zone make sure they security through the walls and things um okay there seems to be a little bit of an issue let's just double click our overlay so there's secure zone three i don't know why it's oh these are why there's multiple what the hell is that is that a ga flight hang on how do this is this a ga flight Learjet. It's a Learjet. It is a GA flight. Wow. That is interesting, to say the least. Never seen that on GA. Um, this guy is still not offering us anything, so we may have to switch some things. Oh, world entrance. Oh. Both entrance and exit at this stage. I think these guys have resolved their... No, they have not. What, what are you... What, what is your issue? You want to go there? Why would you go there? That's not even built. You want to go in there? Oh, 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 we're not allowing staff. Hang on, hang on. No staff is being allowed. Close it. Open it. This is... Oh, oh, oh. Can't seem to find your way. Oh, I keep rotating stuff when I when I start um, messing around with it. Um, <clears throat> let's uh, let's quickly um, switch off these overlays and have a quick look at is there anything we can do by just re <clears throat> redrawing the secure zone. Usually, um, in the past, I've been quite successful in in fixing things by just redrawing the secure zone. All the way through here nice and ooh, 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 just make sure you're connecting up all the way through there now did that resolve anything for us yes no maybe not at all I don't think you can walk across there can't you <clears throat> So what is this saying? I can do the path analysis. So you're going to go from the open zone. Okay. And then you want to go to um, secure area three. You want to go in there, but you can't seem to get there. And that is, um, is interesting because you should definitely be able to get there, right? That's the whole point of, of this guy allowing you to go there, right? I do wonder... Can we, can we, for instance, grab you and say, we can't, what does this do? That just takes me to the person. I, we can't like um, resolve the pathing or anything, can we? Display walkable area, what, what is this? We've got security officer path analysis. Um, click there and click there. Hmm. That's interesting. So, does that mean... Okay. Does that mean we need a door? Okay, well, what I'll do... What I'll do is I will... I will open up... Um, I will open up something there, right? And now... Because I think security officers don't go through here. And they don't go through there, right? Do they? They should now be able to. Okay, let's uh, let's let's try that one more time. I haven't really used this up so from there to there. Can't go through there. Pathfinding analyzer from here to there. How can you not go from here to there? Okay, interesting. What does this do? Is this thing switched off? What's the issue here? Let's uh, remove that and rebuild it because I think that may be a part of our problem. Can we now say security officer go from there to there? Apparently not. I don't know what that that's that doesn't anybody else? Who's this? Uh, passengers? They can go through there and they can go through there. That is an interesting one. 
an employee can go through here and they can go through there. Okay. But a security officer cannot do this and does not seem to want to be able to do that. So that is a little awkward. Oh, this guy is oh, that's still still wondering where they want to go though. So I I honestly don't quite get it. If I if I clear out another one here, right? Okay. I do that. And is it oh oh No, still, still can't do that. So let's try one more thing. If I, um, if I um, clear out a few things here, right, and I uh, just put that back. Oh, something happened. Now, now that worked. That was um, super interesting. Hopefully, this um, this stuff goes away. But yeah, they've managed to find their way to where they want to go. Okay. Now, flights should now be ready to go. Interesting that we've had to deal with that for the meantime. Uh, oh, one little flight coming in. Um, Wu Stand 20. Let's just, let's just make sure we, we rename these things. So this is going to be... Um, shall we go back to A1? A1? Yeah, let's go back to A1. A2. A3, um, A4, and A5, and that should let us see quite quickly who needs to go where. Now, you can go to A1, please, okay. So confirm our first flight coming in from where? Anyway, coming in from... Learmouth Airport in Exmouth. Yeah, so that's um, or Exmouth or however you want to say that. Um, uh, that's a bit of a touristy area. So coast to coast makes absolute sense. There we go. So there, um, our first commercial flight should now be arriving in about three hours. Um, these guys, I may have to move around a little bit. We will uh, do so. But that now means that we are going to start seeing commercial flights. Oh, here comes our first passengers ready to do their thing. Uh, I can work on our flooring a little bit. That I can certainly do. I um, don't need to pause it all the time. That's a, a little bit of a, 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 a thing that I, I end up doing a lot, unfortunately. This side, it kind of feels like we need kind of proper style tiles in here. So let's do proper tiling through like so. Yeah, that's, that's good. I, I, I like that. A nice clean white floor. Um, and then on the other side, um, I'll do... A slightly different style of tile but still a tile nonetheless so we'll do um, a different style of tile on the other side like so and we'll do an, a further different style of tiling um, in the bathrooms so let's do that um, actually needs to run through there and then uh, finally uh, we'll do this so uh, you can kind of see it can we? We can't really change the color of it. We'll, we'll maybe, maybe we, we change it ultimately. But I, I, I like. It just makes sense to me that we're using tiles. Then about this will be kind of our. Well, actually, should this be our tile for out here? It feels a little overwhelming, to be honest. It feels a little overwhelming. So let's uh, let's not do that. Let's. Uh, it's not that overwhelming. It's not that overwhelming. So let's, uh, you know what I'm thinking? Let's go back this way, okay? Okay, and then we'll go with the overwhelming, slightly overwhelming tile in here, which uh, which is less of an issue there. And we can change the color up of these guys. These guys are boarding, excellent. Got some people boarding, nice. There we go, coast to coast. Like it, like it, like it a lot. Um, so that's okay. And then we only need a bit of tiles for the bathroom and I'll go with something super overwhelming, like these guys. Nice. So there we go. Wow, that's bad. Okay, there we go. That's all good. That uh, is good. Now, can we um, park another flight in here, please?
Okay, so another one is coming in, and we probably need multiple uh, contracts in order to do that. Again with the Learjet coming in here. GA Learjet. That is really interesting. That is really interesting. Does it actually show you where it's come from? Yes, it's come from... Holy boulder. I don't think that is... Oh, two... What? Um, that's a little weird. Two. No, this is this is the wrong way around. And that, anyway, Kalgoorlie is not up there. It's over here somewhere, I think. Pretty sure. <laughs> uh, pretty sure. Okay, so that's not quite quite accurate, I think. I don't know. Anyway, we've, we're seeing some passengers around here. Uh, probably need some facilities for them, to be honest. Like a bit of a vending machine. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just slot a vending machine over there and also one of the others over there. So now we've got a vending machine ready to go. At least some facilities for these people. Um, and that's basically their, their way in and then that's their way out. And that should do well, I think. I'm not sure if we can close that out again. I don't know. Here we go. People are arriving. Um, heading off to the bathroom quickly first and then heading out. It's a very nifty little airport to say the least. People are grabbing taxis, they're waiting for the bus. Uh, we can expand these things of course as we need to do. Uh, what we don't have is Jet A1 fuel and things like that. Um, emergency response is still being done um, so we'll have to get to that in the next episode. But guys, if you, uh, if you like what you see, please hit that like button and leave your comments down below. I will see you in the next episode. We're slowly but steadily building a nice little airport. Bye-bye!